install an operating system using a USB flash drive, we need to create a USB flash drive which is a bootable one. Okay, wherein uh, the operating system will be copied into that disk and later becomes an installer of an operating system. So to do that, we need a software which is uh, yeah, used to create a bootable disk like Rufus. We will uh, download the Rufus, Rufus.ie. Okay, there you go. Okay, here we go. We have here the home page of the Rufus.ie website. In this case, uh, we will be downloading the Rufus 3.4 portable version so that uh, we will not install it in our system. So click on this link for you to be able to download the portable version of Rufus 3.4. Okay, click this one. Okay, when done or uh, finish downloading, click this button here. Okay. And then uh, select and click show in folder so that you will be redirected to the location of the application or the downloaded application or file okay you have there rofos 3.4 p.exe this is the executable file of the portable version of rofos 3.4 so in this case we will use this one to create a bootable disk okay so double click the file okay when prompted with the update policy in this case this dialog box will connect you to the uh, internet so in this case, we will not update the version of the Rufus. We will uh, select and click the no button. Click the no button. The Rufus main window will appear, prompting you to configure some of the basic uh, requirements in uh, creating a bootable disk. Okay, first, we need to set up a device for our installer. In this case, I haven't yet uh, plugged in my device, so uh, let me uh, get my flash drive. We need a flash drive. Now, a flash drive capacity must be bigger or higher than the file size of the operating system. This operating system is an image file, or let's say for example an ISO file. Make sure to check the actual size of that uh, image file and then your USB flash drive must be higher uh, in capacity compared to the file size of the operating system. Okay, so that's the uh, minimum requirement. Let's plug it in into our system. There you go. Now, have you seen the changes made in our device? The Rofo software will detect the device being plugged into the system so make sure that you have selected the right usb drive okay click the select button okay the select button will redirect us to the location of the image file so let's locate the image file i have it here inside local disk d under the software folder okay software then uh, under the operating system system software double click you have to uh, correctly locate the exact location of your uh, operating system installer select the installer the, the iso file of the windows operating system in this case we will be selecting windows 7 ultimate service pack 1 okay select and then click open Rufus will scan the file and uh, prompt you with this message ready when done. Okay, if there are no problems with your installer, uh, okay, this will be the uh, message. Now, next is we will retain the other options there. We will retain this one partition scheme MDR, target system BIOS. Okay, we will retain this values. Then the volume label you can uh, name this one to any label you want for your for your Windows installer. Uh, in this case, we'll retain the label. The actual label uh, is from the file name of the installer actually. 
Let's click the start button. When prompted with this warning dialog box, make sure to read the the message. Okay, all data on device, Windows 7, the name of your drive with a capacity 7.7 GB will be destroyed. To continue with this operation, click OK. To quit, click Cancel. In this case, we will click OK to continue. The Rofos now will delete all the files inside the USB flash drive, create the file system, and then loads the necessary uh, operating system files to the USB drive. Be patient and wait until the Rufus will finish uh, copying the ISO files to your flash drive. And it's done. Now your USB flash drive is now ready. Just click the close button. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.